Hi, I am Mari, welcome to my channel, and today is my 7 day using Procreate Dreams. In my previous video, I told you how to open a file, which one to use, also the two basic animations of frame by frame animation and keyframe animation. In Procreate Dreams, there is another way of animating by key, that is the same keyframe animation, but the way to create it is a little bit different than what we did before, and is with this circle we have here. This is basically a rec button, a record button. So if I press it, it will start recording what I'm doing in this area. And when you click here, you just stop the movement. I use it in this animation to create the moving of the clouds and the effects on the clouds as well. Maybe you can see here a little bit of uh, pink and I will tell you how to create this with this uh, button, okay? So let's dive in here. This, this is the, the, these are the two tracks I'm using. One for the clouds and one for the, um, like the texture of the clouds. If I turn it off, you cannot see the clouds because the clouds are a mask of this. Okay, it's a max mask layer of this. If I turn this off, you will see how this change. Let me show you a little bit the pink right here. Okay, it's gone. This one I also recorded with this button. I wish I could like erase all these keyframes created by this to show you like just erase all the keyframes but so far there is no way for me to erase the animation so sadly if you don't like the way it resulted you have to delete the keyframes one by one and maybe redo it or change the way the keyframes behave by changing the values that is something i think it could be it could be useful to have in an upgrade of the program to be able to erase the whole movement because you don't like it, right? Okay, now I will tell you exactly how this works. Creating an other, other clouds. So I will turn off this track. And in this new track I, I have here, that is basically opening plus and adding a track. I'm going to draw the new clouds. Go here to draw and select the clouds I want to use. I'm going to use white for this because this will be a mask of my other layer, so I will use only white. And I just start drawing outside my area because I want all these to move and this is our window. This is like the window of our video, okay? But we want the clouds to pass through our window. Okay, let's stamp some clouds here randomly. Let's put another small one here. That's too much over there. Maybe too much as well. Well, we can put it on top. Maybe. No, I don't like it. Okay, let's uh, do the small one. Medium one around here. You can play with it, and if you want them, if you want the clouds to move in another direction, you can also try. Of course, it's up to you to create these movements. Okay, so let's say I'm done with this and when I start drawing, so this is applied on the whole timeline of my video. So now we're going to start moving all this by using this button. So first I'm going to turn off this, touch here and you can also reduce the size if you want to start and position the illustration where you want it. Now I'm going to press the red button, it says it's ready, and I'm going to move 
and you can see here the bar is moving. I accidentally top, touch it, but it's fine. And then here at the end, we go here. I didn't like it, so I went go backwards and we start again, basically because I touch, accidentally touch here. So I will do it again here, press here, ready and go. Now it's day and it goes up and it's done. Click here to finish and let's see how it looks. Okay, so right now it doesn't have any effects because the clouds are plain white. If you want the texture I add before, you can just create another drawing and create the same animation well, similar animation movement of the movement of the texture. And then what you do is that you take your upper layer, uh, click here, mask and layer mask. With this, now we can see on each of the shape of, shape of the clouds, we can see the colors that are behind here. So we should start seeing pink right now. Maybe we can add some orange as well because it is getting lighter and lighter and it's daytime now. Okay, I hope you on this, to this tutorial and if you have any questions, just leave it below and let's keep learning how to use Procreate Rips. Thank you for watching today and see you next time. Bye.